What goes on, guys? We're back here again with yet another review. And today we're taking a look at the semi-new, but not really at this point, McFarlane Toys DC Multiverses Steel. Now, I know it's been out for a while, and I know, I know there's tons of reviews for it out there, but I'm a big Steel fan. I think he's an awesome character. John Henry Irons is awesome. Um... He's, got a bit, he's a dude, a metal dude with a big hammer. What else could you ask for? And I have some thoughts on this figure. It just took me a while to find it because the targets in my area recently have sucked. NECA Holothon has sucked. I haven't found anything new whatsoever that I'm looking for. And I'm only looking for one thing, which is really annoying. Um, haven't got any new DC Multiverse in forever. So I'm just ugh, pissing me off. But yeah. This guy looks awesome. Can't wait to take a look at him. Here's the barcode if you're looking for it, but without further ado, I'm going to keep this a relatively quick one. Let's go ahead and pop this guy. So getting John Henry Irons out of the packaging, I got to be honest with you guys, this kind of sucks, and it, it's a lot of weird things, like really stupid weird things that I'm just like, why... Why did you make that decision, McFarlane? What's, what's, what's going on here? Sorry, I'm just adjusting. But take a look at the head sculpt. I, I would say I do like this head sculpt. I like that they put a little bit of splash of, like, I guess, light gray dry brush on the front. Or, like, an airbrush. Like, this little spritz. Looks okay. The blue and the plastic are across the body is not really doing it for me. Very odd choice. In some places it looks cool, but then in other places it's like, what are you doing? And these grays do not match at all. I like this color. Like, I don't know if that's picking up on camera, but I wish the whole figure was this color. This bluish gray that they're doing, it's not working for Anthony. I don't like that. What I do like a lot is this dry brushing and the way that they painted the super logo. That looks great. The way they painted this gauntlet looks great. The way they painted the belt looks great. But I wish that that was carried to the boots here. And these boots just look Weird as hell to me. Not a big fan of these boots at all. Way too robotic. Like, I, he's not a robot. He's a dude in a suit. And I think, you know, this makes him look like a robot. I do like the red cape. I'm very happy I did not get the chase. I would have been pretty upset about that, not going to lie. But, um, you know, it, it's... The proportions are just whack, too. Like, the legs are long as hell. Really long and lengthy. Like, from here up, he looks pretty good. I like the big shoulders. I think his head's a little high, but, um, you know, it doesn't look awful. But, like, the legs are just throwing me off. The sculpted detail is okay, but I don't know. There's, there's just so many different grays going on here, and none of the matching, it just doesn't work for me. It does not work for me. In terms of accessories... You're going to get the stand and the card. Like, look at, how, look at how big his legs look in this picture versus the action figure. Those boots are completely different. The whole figure is completely different from this. And I prefer what they were going for here, but they didn't execute it well, so I would have rather taken this. But I, I don't know. I don't know. We get a stand. Stupid. And then we get the hammer. Wobbly hammer. Why? I know sometimes they do that intentionally, like to make the hammers a little wobbly, but uh, I don't think that's what um, steel uses. Looks pretty cool. Just wish it was not wobbly. I hate this blue stuff. Looks stupid. Um, the hand is also like extremely hard plastic. So getting this in his hand... I feel like I'm going to break something. Like, I mean, I know I should just heat up the hand, but it's like, it should not be that difficult. There you go. Like, yeah. So, him holding it looks fine. Like, it's not terrible. But it should not be that hard to get it in the hand. I am going to leave it in there for the remainder. But it's not heavy, which is nice. So, you can hold it good. But take a look at articulation. Oh, man, I don't know what they did here. The head looks up. About that far down. He's not necessarily a flying character, so it doesn't really bother me. Shoulder, or the pivot's very good on this. It's it's a pretty good head overall. Shoulders go upwards about that far they go down. He will rotate 360, but the shoulder pad is attached to the the like trap. Not a big fan of that. A um, little bit of movement in there. And then a bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows, and then the wrists are on the ball pegs. They're all fine for the most part. Diaphragm joint. Pretty much nothing forward. Pivot side to side. 
it'll rotate at the bottom a little bit, but you're gonna get most of that rotation at the top, and it'll arc back pretty good. It's again for McFarlane, it's not terrible. But the reason that you don't get a lot of twist at the bottom, and this is maybe one of the stupidest things I've ever seen on an action figure. This piece here, like his crotch piece, is the the hardest part of him. Like, this is super hard plastic, so I can't move these legs barely at all. Why would they do that? If you're going to do this diaper style, then this needs to be soft. Like, what is that? That is as far forward as his leg goes. That is so stupid. And you don't get a lot of rotation neither, so you basically have, like, no articulation in the legs. He can kind of do the splits, but again, I can't rotate at the waist, which is why I would want to rotate a little bit because of that that is so stupid that is so stupid double jointed knees which they look pretty good but then you get this like what the fuck what is that that's oh my god but then it gets worse okay okay the more i'm talking about this the more I, the less i like it the toes go down that much or the ankle goes down it's just on a hinge That'll pivot a very little bit because of the design of the sculpt. I don't know why they just didn't put make this a ball. I don't know why they didn't do that. It's like literally a perfect design for it. And then you have the toe hinge. But the toe hinge is set below the foot. So when you try to like flatten out the foot, right? Which these, this, these feet are super ugly to begin with. They're flat, right? When I put them down to stand on his feet, they kick upwards. That is so stupid. That is so stupid. I can't. I literally can't do it. But, yeah. Ugh. I, I I don't know. Not a big fan of this guy, which is a shame because it took me forever to find him. And I was really excited for him. But this articulation kind of sucks. Here he is next to the NECA Toys King Kong along with the Jazzars Fortnite Series 6-inch Peely. Here he is next to the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman and the... Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men series Darwin. And you can see he is a bigger character, which I do like that, that he's a little bit taller than everybody else. That, that definitely works for me. And here he is next to the Hasbro Marvel Legends What If series Zombie Captain America. So, yeah. This figure kind of sucks. Which really sucks because I like this character quite a bit. So it really is unfortunate that McFarlane did not do a good job on this. Especially this far in the line. Like, they've been pretty steadily making pretty good action figures recently but this this just is a it's a no for me it's gonna be a no um the price is fine on it still 20 bucks that's what i paid for it 19.99 maybe 24.99 but either way that's fine it's just it's just not good it's not good i don't like that the hammer's squishy the articulation is terrible that like diaper is horrible 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 i don't know why they decided to do that and some of the design is just ugly. I don't like the colors, and I don't like the sculpt of the feet. So with all that being said, at a price point of 20 to 25 bucks, I'm going to go ahead and give this guy like a 5 out of 10. Maybe he's not like atrocious. No, I'm going to give him a 4. He kind of is atrocious. There's a lot of things that need to be fixed on this, and I'm very unfortunate to report that. So with all that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Letterboxd. I post a lot on all of those apps, and I have a great time, so I'm sure you will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk as long as I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching and to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.